how, what, I hate for this to be the first question, but it's all I can think of, David, is what happens next year as things hopefully normalize? Well, I think we expect the first half of next year to be somewhat like the first half, the second half of this year with somewhat restricted uh, leisure options. But I think on top of that, we have incredible momentum in the industry now. We've been tra attracted in a new demographic, younger, as you said, uh, more women, more ethnic minorities. I think that provides us with great momentum, not just next year, but into uh, future years. Certainly, I think some of the elements of, of COVID-related trends, particularly flexible working, are playing into uh, more opportunities for outdoor recreation. And we have uh, offerings like our Freedom Boat Club, which, which caters particularly to time-constrained people. Sure, but I guess my, my question is this. For all these people who are buying a boat who wouldn't have been in the market before, they're not going to need another one the following year. I mean, does that pull forward a lot of demand? And I take your point about how work from home could create more time and more kind of structural demand for boating. But mm -hmm. um, what other factors could make up for what otherwise could be a, a quiet period after people go back to normal? I think a couple of things going on, Kelly. One is that uh, inventory, field inventory is very low this year. So a lot of people who would normally have replaced that boat didn't get a chance to this year. We expect that replacement uh, trade to come through next year. And then when you think about it, you know, we were in the middle of COVID in March and April. So people, new boaters who entered the market had a very short time window to make the decision to get into boating. We think that's going to be a much longer window for next year. So people making decisions even now in the winter to acquire boats. I looked at retail finance applications this morning. They were up about 90% over the same period last year. So that is a really strong uh, leading indicator of good retail next year. Wow. Um, what are the other factors that go into this decision? You know, we've seen obviously a large portion of the population moving out of urban areas into more mm -hmm. suburban ones. Um, obviously, maybe fuel prices at some point on the margin. Um, have boat prices increased as a result of this? No, I would say not. Both prices have been pretty stable. If you think about our, we have a very broad portfolio of, of boat offerings, Kelly. So about 80% of our boats cost less than $50,000. This is very much a, a kind of middle class uh, activity. We offer a number of ways onto the ladder, value offerings at $10,000, and we'll be offering even more uh, beginning next year. So plenty of ways onto the boating ladder for, for anybody who wants to get on it. What do you think accounts for the search in female boat buying and boat ownership? I think it's part of this demographic shift that we're seeing. We, we saw this year a lot of new boaters, uh, more female, as you mentioned, but also younger. So the average Brunswick boat buyer was in the low 50 years of age up until this year, and now it's in the high 40s. So that's enough for a significant demographic trend and more ethnic minorities. So I think people, when they say the attraction of boating, it's certainly attractive. It appears even more attractive sometimes at this time of year. Uh, but, but it's a way to, uh, you know, to, to recreate with, with, while maintaining social distancing. And I, I think people see that and appreciate it and will continue to appreciate it uh, next year and beyond. Yeah. Well, David, it's been a pleasure having you today uh, to talk about this boom that we are seeing. By the way, how cold are people? You can't go out there in the ice. I mean, at some point it gets too cold, right? Uh, you would be surprised about how persistent boaters are, Kelly. There will be people out there on the lakes uh, right now, and there will be people out there on the lakes in February as well. Uh, so uh, if you're a boater, uh, uh, you, you'll take on some hardships to get out in the water and maybe go fishing or just, just for leisure. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.